let me show you my arsenal. What's up, YouTube? If you plan on having a reptile business or a reptile collection, I want to show you some tools that I couldn't live without. Now, obviously, people have different types of reptiles, so maybe some of these tools won't work for you. But as far as for me, these tools are like the best thing that I could possibly have purchased. It doesn't really matter how much these tools are because of how much they have done for me as far as my reptile building. So let me show you what they do. Let me show you what they are. And hopefully, maybe you'll think of something that you need that you're like, man, you know what? That guy's, whatever that is, is probably something I should have in my reptile collection. So let's go ahead and show you what I got. While I have you, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm so YouTube knows that I'm doing good. Um, um, if you haven't, go watch my giveaway video. Um, the giveaway video will give you details on what to do to enter into the giveaway. I will be giving someone either a bitter dragon or a ball python. There will be two winners. So you have a selection of different animals and you get to choose what you want. So that's that. So the first thing I want to show off is this temperature gun. So this temperature gun, obviously the whole purpose of it is for temperature. So this is an LED light temperature gun and you can, I don't know what the distance is, but I, I mean, I could be on the other side of this building and point at one of my enclosures and then it'll tell me what the outside of that enclosure's temperature is. Um, so uh, I don't know exactly how, I would say probably like 20 feet or something like that is how far that I've been able to do it. Might go further than that, but this is obviously one of the best things if you want to get a gauge as far as what temperatures are in that area. So if you're looking at basking platforms, if you're looking at uh, cool side, hot side, and your bearded dragon enclosures, if you're trying to see if your uh, snake tubs are getting to temperature at their uh, uh, heat spot, all of that can be done with this, this one tool. And I think you can find these on Amazon for like 15 bucks with prime shipping for free. So $15 free shipping. This is like one of the best things that I, I think that I have uh, as far as, actually it tells you right here. Um, oh, it's in millimeters. I can't tell you how much it's in millimeters. Um, so yeah, I have no idea. Sorry. <laughs> I can't do that in my head right now. Maybe I can put it up on the screen or something, but it says it can go up to a hundred, uh, meters, maybe no, 800. Well, that seems like a lot. I don't know. Maybe it's, it says a hundred at eight. I don't know what the hell that means. I'm not going to lie. Oh, there's an inch. <laughs> Oh, there's an inch. So it goes up to 32 feet. So that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so it goes up to 32 feet. It says it on the side right here. I've never looked at that side, honestly. I've never even looked at the size. I just point and scan and it tells me what the temperature is. So this thing works pretty good. Now, I will say that there are some that are for people. And this is for strictly for like getting the temperature of like tools. And I think this one might be like an automotive or mechanical one. Uh, so... I don't know, they all have different names on there, but they all work fine. Just don't don't get any that are supposed to be used on like people or anything like that because they uh, they don't work the same. So these are one of the, my favorite tools to have here in the reptile building. Now this next tool is something that maybe some people don't think they need, but I personally think that I do need it. Even though my reptile building is temperature controlled, I still have a Wi-Fi, uh, I guess you could call this a thermometer, but it also has a hygrometer in, in there. So this is from Govi. I'm not affiliated with nobody. So every, anything I say, any brand that I tell you to get, whatever, it's not affiliation. It's just personal use. So this is a Govi, and there's an app on your phone, and it literally it's Wi-Fi. So you can look at your phone at any time. You can be out of the country and look at your phone, and it'll tell you what the temperature is in your reptile building. So I guess it's filling my hands or whatever, but it was just over there, and it was 76, and like. Uh, I don't know what the, the percentage was for uh, humidity, but now that it's in my hands, it's 81 81 degrees and it's 34. So obviously it's getting the temperature off my hand. But whenever I had it all over where I usually keep it, it was 76 in here, which is where I like to keep it. I like to keep the room at 75. So 76 is obviously because all the enclosures and all the baby tubs and everything are being heated as well as the snakes. So that is how this goes. So personally, the reason I obviously like this is because you never know when your heating is going to go out or you never know if you have to turn your, uh, cause I do have an AC in here. Uh, but the fact that I have my bearded dragons in here, this, that heats up very quickly. And sometimes the AC, even if I have it, at, I think this one's at 73. So 
at 73 it's still getting up to 76 in here because of all the heat that's happening so it's not actually being able to cool as quickly as uh, I want it to so that would make me figure out well maybe I need to you know get another AC or maybe I need to turn it down even further because obviously the fans not kicking on as often so those are just things for I need to know and things that this helps me figure out so I actually have the exact same brand of little thermometers and hygrometers and they're also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and they go inside of the incubator tubs and most people have seen them when I post them on social media and that's just what I use uh, same thing it connects to the app on your phone so you can see your incubator temperatures from anywhere that you want and I actually have I think six probes so I have three probes inside of the ball python incubator and six and three probes inside of the bearded dragon incubator that I have spaced out in different tubs so I know where the hot points are the cool points are and obviously like that and then I get averages as well so awesome tools I definitely love these tools I definitely appreciate having them um, I don't know how much they were I know they weren't cheap I think it was like for for a pack of three of the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi powered ones that are um, in the incubator I think those were like 40 bucks and I think this one was like $30 or $40 by itself so they're pretty expensive but I've dropped this it's fell off enclosures it's fell off everything I have and sometimes I put it on the wall because I, ha I have a little velcro on it and some I have little places where I have velcro strips that sometimes I'm like you know what this place feels like it's getting hotter so let me put it here and see what the average is and I do that with this thing so sometimes it does fall off the wall but after all of that it still works and I've never had to do anything except change the batteries the next tools that I want to show off are what everybody should have whether you have bearded dragons Aki monitors tortoises ball pythons whatever you gotta have bottles you gotta have spray bottles so these are actually for gardeners uh, or gardening spray or whatever I think these are like ten dollars or fifteen dollars or something like that at Lowe's and Home Depot but I have one for ivermectin which is for mites and then I have one for just water and obviously I don't use this often on my bearded dragons. I uh, only use it whenever I want them to get water like the babies or something like that. So I don't let them just swim around all the time because I don't want them to drown. But for the adults, I will take them outside in the kiddie pool. Uh, but for ball pythons, these work great because sometimes you just need to lift the humidity up just a little bit when they're shedding and you just spray them off with water. Or like I said, this one's for ivermectin, so it's for mites. So if I ever have a mite issue, I just spray everybody with this, spray the tubs with this, clean off with this. So this is actually a mixture of ivermectin, Dawn dish soap, and water. And like I said, this is just water. So these things work perfectly for me. I've never had any issues with them. And I don't know, I feel like I've, I know the ivermectin one I've had for at least two years. And I think the H201, uh, I have Sharpie on them so I don't confuse them. But yeah, this one says ivermectin, this one says H2O. But um, I think I've had this one for several years and I've never had any issues with it. Um, so... For 10 15 bucks that's a pretty good deal in my opinion the next tool I want to show off it's actually not really a tool um, it's just a control for my or uh, insect control in the building so I guess you could call it a tool but I have these little things that I got at Lowe's they're uh, ortho or tarot brand so they are for gnats and flies and it comes with like a little mixture which after like one use it's done so you have to make your own so mine is a mixture of apple cider vinegar, Dawn dish soap and water and some sugar and uh, I put it in here and I don't know it's probably a little disgusting so I don't know if you can see this but there are is like a good layer of, mat, of gnats and all kinds of stuff in there I don't know how well you can see this hopefully it's focusing uh, but yeah there is a good layer of gnats and uh, fruit flies and all that in there I should probably clean this out but all I do is I spray more in there and it just keeps collecting over time and eventually I just throw them away because it's not they're not that expensive and I have like six of them so you know it's not gonna hurt me if I throw one away and buy a couple more because uh, it does come in packs of two but this little tool here if you ever have issues with fruit flies or anything like that like if you have your own dubia colony for your bearded dragons or your lizards or if your uh, ball pythons start getting fruit flies or gnats or anything like that coming out of their tubs these things work wonders and obviously the whole purpose of this is to kill them and if you don't want an infestation, you got to kill them before they start mating and leaving uh, eggs everywhere. So you just got to get them out of the way before it's too late. So I do love this little thing here. Like I said, I have one there, there. I have one on each rack. I have one on the, the where the rats are. I, I have like six of them. I'm not, I'm not sure where they all are, but I know I have six of them because I bought the pack three times. 
uh, just so I can have extra. So yeah, this thing's pretty awesome. Now this next one is really just for purposes of entertainment. Um, I know people are probably like, why are you showing this off, dude? When you're in your reptile room and you're cleaning and you're doing all this, you're probably doing it by yourself and most likely you're bored out of your mind. So what I do, I get some tunes going. This is my little speaker. Uh, I don't know if the thing's like 10 bucks or something like that. I don't even know where they sell them anymore, but this is a Bluetooth speaker. This thing is loud. I could probably hear this thing clearly, probably from like 200 feet or so, and that's how loud it is. All I have to do is connect it to my phone because it is Bluetooth, and I probably charge it once a month, so that's a pretty good battery life in my opinion. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where I even got this. It might have been like Walmart or uh, Amazon or something like that, but I'm not too sure. All I know is that this thing works freaking well, and most people, if you're like me and you start getting bored cleaning bearded dragon enclosures or dumping uh, ball python bedding and all that sometimes you just got to listen to some music and if you don't want to listen to music what i also do is i put some podcasts on and as long as i can hear this i'm fine because sometimes if i'm on the other side of the room and i leave my phone somewhere the podcast obviously gets quieter or the music gets quieter and this thing obviously helps with that and i hear it wherever i go so this is another thing that i love having in my uh, in my reptile building and i, I honestly can't go wrong with it. It also has aux. I don't use aux, but if you do have aux, it's also uh, acceptable uh, when you get this little thing here. Um, it, honestly, it just says live on the top, so I don't even know what brand or whatever this is. And obviously, I think it came from Amazon or one of those China uh, manufacturers or something like that, but this thing is pretty awesome. The next thing I want to show off is my scale. Uh, most people don't think they need this, but even if you're just a pet owner or if you're just a collector, if you're not breeding, you still need to know how much your animals are growing, how fast they're growing, how much they weigh, because they may be growing just fine, or maybe they get to a point where they stop growing, or maybe they get to a point where they get sick and they start losing weight. You need to know all that before it's too late. Sometimes your eyes are deceiving you, and sometimes you think they're just fine, and after a little bit, you're like, you know what, this guy's not eating, or this girl's not eating, or something like that, and it's probably been a while, and you're just like, what's going on? And all of a sudden your bearded dragon or your snake dies or whatever dies and it's because something was wrong with them and they reptiles are freaking good at hiding that there's something wrong with them so these little things here i don't know this one was uh from walmart it's like a, I think they're like dinner weights or something like that so you can weigh your, like your food when you're cooking kitchen weights or something uh i don't know exactly what they're called but uh kitchen scale it says it on the back man i need to start looking at my <laughs> my devices when i when I have them because I don't even know it said dinner scale on the back so yeah this thing here um, it's freaking awesome I've had it for years obviously some animals can't just be placed on here so you can zero out the weight and put like a tub on top and then put the animal inside and it'll still give you the animals weight but this thing is pretty awesome because it lets me know that my animals are growing or when they stop eating that they're not losing weight or anything like that so this thing is pretty awesome um, the last tool I want to show is only just for bearded dragons or anything that uses UVB. Uh, so let's get to that one. So the last tool is this UVB uh, reader here. Uh, so this is Solar Meter. That's the brand. Uh, these things are pretty expensive, but for my purposes, it's obviously needed. So this thing, whenever your beard, so whenever you get a new UVB bulb, you always want to test it to make sure it's actually putting out UVB. So this does have uh, instructions and everything that it comes with and it tells you where your scale should be as far as if you're getting low on the UVB scale or higher on the UVB scale and what the average should be. And whenever you're reading this, when you get a new bulb, it tells you that maybe the bulb is on the higher end or the low end or whatever it is, maybe straight in the middle. The thing about that is not that your bulb has to stay within that range. It's more or less that your bulb, once it half of the, once you're reading your bulb and half of the initial reading is gone, then that means you have to replace it. So if you're getting a reading of like 200, uh, I think this is like, I don't know what the exact measurements is, but it's in centimeter squared. Um, I don't know what that measurement is. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a scientist or whatever, but meteorologist maybe because it's UV, I don't know. Uh, so once you get, let's say it starts off at 200. So once you get down to 100, you ha also have to check it at the same place every time. So once it gets down to like 100 in this example, that means you have to replace it. So it, it really is showing you what the life of your bulb is uh, because not every bulb is going to have the same life. I've had bulbs that have lasted me uh, 14 months. I've had bulbs that have lasted me three months. Uh, that really depends on the bulb. The only good thing is that most of these bulb manufacturers will have a warranty saying that uh, regular use, obviously uh, that's their warranty. 
if it's being used regularly uh, instead of like being on all the time so it has an off period and on period uh, then it usually gives you a year warranty so if it does go off or go out within the year then you will have to uh, take send it back to the manufacturer and they'll send you a replacement so this thing is wonderful because it gives you an idea of when your UVB bulb is not working if your UVB is still emitting emitting light it doesn't mean that it's still working it's still producing UVB it's still emitting UVB so that's why you have to check it because just the fact that it turns on doesn't mean that it's working you gotta really this is like this is pretty expensive I'm not gonna lie but I have to replace like 20 bulbs every year so this lets me know maybe I have to replace them today maybe I can replace them next month maybe I can replace them the month after that but all I do is check it once a week to make sure that it hasn't gone down below that 50% from the initial reading so this thing is pretty awesome if you do have bearded dragons or you have anything that requires UVB I would suggest using this to check it um, now like I did mention you do have to check it from the same uh, distance every single time to get an accurate reading so just keep that in mind as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that I put out in the future. And as always, peace.